Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders, the great millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taza War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, this one here is a quick hit, straight to the point. I'm in the book of Romans, chapter 11, and uh, starting at verse 7. It says, What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. All right, so this is a scripture that's famous among us brothers here of the whole four elect at Great Millstone. And we bring out this scripture, all right, to edify those of the whole four elect, okay, to get straight to the point, you know, in most cases. Because we understand that the Lord is dealing with an election, okay, he's dealing with chosen, you know, his chosen. And I must say, the Lord is dealing with the chosen within the chosen because the scriptures speak on how the Lord's people, that's a chosen people, that would be the Israelites. But there's a chosen of the chosen, meaning on this second, before this second death, or let's say this second death to come, the Lord is going to deliver his elect from the hands of the wicked, but he's going to deliver the elect within the elect. All right, to save the elect. <laughs> he that got ears to hear, let him hear. Okay. So now it says, What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seek for. What is it that our people seek? Okay. What is it that these so called Negroes, uh, so called Hispanics, and native Seminole Indians, Mexicans, West Indians, all right, so called Haitians, what is, what is it that they seek? They seek truth. All right. They seek truth. Now, it says, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. And you can tell with all those people, let's say, with all the tribes of Israel, you know, each particular tribe, you know, we're all spiritual people. All right? And right now, they're going off. So it says, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded, meaning there was an election among them that's going to receive the actual truth. And get it and they were gonna walk in it all right now just to uh, go into it a little bit I want to grab this word election right Strong's G 1589 Ekla gay Ekla gay Ekla gay which is Greek for election now it says the act of picking out choosing so, yes, our Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God, all right, he has done what? Picked out and chosen, you know? So that's a cut on DJ Vlad, you know, because he's upset the fact that he said it's absurd, you know, it's ridiculous that anybody will call himself the chosen. Well, the Heavenly Father, okay, through his son, Yahweh Shai, clearly you know, uh, uh, spoke, okay, in the scriptures about him choosing a people. And now what we're reading, we're reading him choosing a people within a people, you know? So it says the act of picking out choosing. You know, so, you know, you can get mad, but your, your anger has to be toward the most high for doing this, all right? So it says the, of the act of... It says, of the act of Yahweh's free will, by which before the foundation of the world, he decreed his blessings to certain persons. Ooh, you know, that's, 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 ooh, that's first fruits. Okay, the Lord has his first, first fruits. And if you, um, you know, when you read the scriptures, you know, you go into the law, you know, it's, it's various scriptures. That could be it also a topic. You know, Elder Apostle Kabar, I believe he done this topic plenty of times, going back a few years ago, about the first fruits, the election, you know. And, and you can clearly see the Lord always requires of the first. You know, matter of fact, I'm thinking of the account and story 
with, uh, I believe it was Samuel and Samuel's mother. You know, she cried or she prayed, you know, to the Most High. She wanted to have seed. She wanted to bear seed. And I think she made a deal, you know, and I might leave it in a, a post-production of scripture, but, you know, she made a deal that uh, she would give her son to the Most High. All right, so the Lord answered her prayer and her son came out and what? It was Samuel, you know, and it was given to who? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, he became what? A priest, he became, you know, a teacher, a prophet, all right? Uh, when you go into the law, you know, in the law, the Lord talks about like the land Sabbath. You know, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's about what? The 400, the the fourth or fifth year all right where you can actually pluck and eat from the garden that you planted you know because it's you know it's a first fruit the most high requires of the first fruit you know and it's only right you go into um how the lord when he created the spirits he created yahweh shai which is when the lord said his only begotten son we understand through the breakdown that the Lord created also the Alahayims, the powers, breaking down Genesis, you know, in the beginning. And those powers, those first spirits created became what? The elect, you know, the elect that was given to Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. So what the Lord have done, the act of picking out, choosing of the act of God's free will by which before the foundation of the world, he decreed his blessings to certain persons. The decree made from choice by which he determined to bless certain persons through Yahweh Shai by grace alone. You know, and that's what Yahweh Shai's mission was when he was here the first time, you know, as Yahweh Shai. Because we know that he's coming back a second time. But the first time when he was in Yahweh Shai, he had his mission was to search out for the elect. His mission was to give his bite his body as a living sacrifice for the remission of our sins and who was going to hear the lord and believe in the lord at that time that would have been what the elect all right so it says a thing or person chosen of persons god's elect so why come these other camps out here can't understand you know that the lord talks about an election you know, the Lord is not coming to save all Israel this time. He did that, you know, with Moses, you know, when we were in Egypt. But this time, the Lord is not, you know, the Lord is not about to go through all that again. You had a lot of wicked Israelites who wanted to go back to Egypt, ungrateful, you know, caused trouble. But, hey, the Lord this time, you know, he's, he's, he has chosen, you know, who is going to be with his son. All right, and who's going to be delivered? So anyway, it says election chosen, selection. That's another good word, selection, chosen, election. All right, so let's go back now. It says, uh, verse 8, according as it is written, Yahweh have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear unto this day. All right, so hey, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai have blinded the minds that are not of the elect okay he's blinded two-thirds of his people and one-third of his people he have awoken their minds or say awakening their minds all right because soon as the elect gets sealed we out of here all right according to revelation 7 you know so you know it says uh how the lord hold back the winds hold back the destructions with the angels you know so he sealed the foreheads of them all right it says, according as it is written, Yahweh have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear unto this day. So the Lord gave them a spirit of sleep. All right. Now I'm going to come back and read 9 and 10, but I'm thinking of Romans 10 and 1, you know, to verse 3. It says, brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to Yahweh for Israel is that they that they might be saved. So Paul, you know, his his love for Israel is that he wanted all of everyone to be saved, you know? But Paul knew there was an election, all right? 
that's just like us, man. We come in the spirit of Apostle Paul as well. We want Israel to be delivered, but we know that two-thirds can't be delivered. All right? They have to play out their judgment. You know? But in the kingdom, hey, we all going to be good, man. It's going to be beautiful to have every Israelite in order, you know, from every household under the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It's going to be beautiful, man. Verse 2, for I bear them record that they have a zeal of Yahweh, but not according to knowledge. Why is it they don't, here it is, why they don't have the correct knowledge? Because the Lord gave them eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear, you know? It says, for I bear them record that they have a zeal. You know, they got that passion. You know, they got they got that right. The, let's say the uh, they have the uh, attitude to, to worship, you know, that's a start, but not according to knowledge. And this is why our people are stuck, you know, in these uh, government churches. All right. They're stuck believing in these false. Well, these deities. These demons, these other gods, because they don't have the correct knowledge. So let's continue. It says, for they being ignorant of Yahweh's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of Yahweh. So not alone, let alone, you know, they don't have the knowledge and them being ignorant to the Most High's righteousness. They also go about to establish their own righteousness. And this is why you have man-made man doctrine. They're establishing their own righteousness. You know, oh, it's okay to eat pork. You know, what's that Christianity doctrine they teach where Jesus, he died for their sins so that they could do whatever they want. You got to give this a thought, man. Think about this. Do you actually think a man that was sent, or let's, yeah, let's say, because Yahweh Shai came as a man, all right? He was a little lower than the angels, but he had spiritual powers. But just hypothetically, think about this. Do you actually think that the Lord would send his son in the earth and his son would go through the trials and tribulation in a harsh manner, okay? Being that he had power, he would go through all that just to die and spill his blood for Israel so that they could be separated from the Most High? So that they don't have to keep the laws of the Most High? That would mean that Yahweh Shai went against the Most High. That's why Yahweh Shai said, he said, I come not to destroy the law, nor the prophets, but to fulfill. What is to fulfill? The prophecies. All right, it's prophecy. That today we'll be saved through what? Faith, not by the laws. Now, do we make none and void the law? God forbid. All right, we establish the law, as the scriptures say. We rehearse the righteous acts. That don't give you license to sin. As the scriptures say in the Apocrypha, the Lord don't give license to sin. So don't get, um, don't be stumbled. And the elect won't be stumbled. But to two-thirds, they will be. They won't understand that. They'll say the Bible contradict itself. You see, so it says, for they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of Yahweh. All right, so let's go back to Romans 11 and go back to 8. It says, according as it is written, Yahweh have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear unto this day. And David say, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. All right, so David, you know, which was beloved of the Most High, he had a hatred for the wicked. He said, let their table be made a snare, meaning don't let them get it. Let, let, it, let it be a trap unto them, and a stumbling block when they come and try to hear his word. All right, it says, and a recompense, which means a payback unto them, which is the payback what? Payback them for their sins. All right. It says, verse 10, let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back all way. Now it says, verse 11, I say, then have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid, but rather through their fall, salvation is coming to the Gentiles for to provoke them to jealousy. Now, when you read this chapter, you understand that Paul, 
you know, he gets into about the Israelite foreigners and the Jews that knew they were Jews, that kept the laws, okay? You had certain Jews that didn't believe in Yahweh Shai, and then you had Israelite men who took on customs of the ways of the heathens. You know, when they were taught Yahweh Shai, they believed. So guess what? They were grafted in, which they was already from the lump, the root, you know? This is not Gentiles in which Paul's speaking about. It's not talking about the other nations. He's talking about Israel. You know, there's blindness in, in Israel. He, he also even said, um, uh, don't be ignorant to this mystery. That is blindness in Israel, man. So that's how we know, man, that the Israelites are scattered. You know, the Israelites will look like other nations. But if they believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, then guess what? It's possible they have the what? Hopeful elect. So it says, now if they fall, and if the fall of them be the riches of the world, and the diminishing of them the riches of the Gentiles, how much more their fullness. For I speak to the Gentiles, and as much as I am I an apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify my office. You know, and that continues to go into the Israelite foreigner topic. But this topic, which I thought would be quick, you know, but, you know, it, it is what it is. I hope you're edified. You know, that the Lord is dealing with election. And that's what the race is for, for us brothers, who we strive, you know, and hope that we are of that number, man. You know, because we know that we've been called, you know. Somebody uh, had to been called and had to been chosen. You know, scriptures say, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. So it's about giving diligence. Once you wake up to this truth, you know, and this goes out to the young brothers, all right, and a few sisters and women who listen, you know, there is no looking back. This is it. All right. This is it. You know, I like to say that, you know, we're in a time where it's a lot more easier to believe in the Lord than it was a few years ago. Because the Lord has the prophecies popping like popcorn, man. You can't make this up, man. You can't make this up. Okay. The RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. All right. The agenda, the gradualism. You know, just today, I went to go grab a bike, and here it is, I'm in the store, and, the, you know, the, the uh, you know, it's a little poppy spot, you know, and selling the, uh, you know, the, the uh, baked uh, grilled chicken and things like that. So, you know, they got the grill on, they inside the store, and they got the doors open, and then outside the store, you have people eating. You have a family of eating with no masks, but then when you go in the store, you got to wear a mask. It's just totally ridiculous, man. All right? It's just ridiculous. You know how you can step two feet into the store, take two steps into the store from being outside, and you got to wear a mask, but when you go outside, you don't wear the mask. Like the virus knows, like the virus comes from outside, and the virus goes into the store, and then the virus lingers and doesn't come out. So in the store, there's the virus, but outside, there's no virus. It's straight-up gradualism. That these Edomites are doing And they got all these people food man They got two thirds of our people food You know it's just ridiculous But Neither here nor there I hope this lesson was edifying to those of the whole four elect Alright this truth is about the election You know So we gotta put on the elect You know and that, that means To uh, put off the old man You know be sincere Be serious Okay and this truth serious minded You know Serious minded, all right, in your life, knowing what you worship, counting the costs, and um, and praying, you know, meaning to be holy, meaning to be separate from this world. Because if you're joint unto this world, as is written in Isaiah the 13th chapter, it says, Everyone that is joint unto them shall be what thrust through, you know. So, there's a reason why you catch hell, there's a reason why. All right, you be persecuted, you go through the things that you go through because the Lord loves you. Scriptures say he chastened the ones he loved, you know. So hopefully this lesson is edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.